I think that a lot of this boils down to Ms. Wilson's refusal to follow any of this court's orders whatsoever. And she thinks she's punishing me or she thinks she's punishing this court, but it's really Nick who's going without. So how the heck did you twist your ankle as a fry cook? <laughs> Have you had sufficient opportunity to speak to Ms. Huffman in preparation for this hearing? Uh, apparently. We are before the court for an, an adjourned enforcement hearing in the matter of Ryan Wilson versus Clara Wilson. Respondent Clara Wilson is ordered to pay a total of $250 per month. That is $217 for current support, $29.50 towards arrears, and $3.50 service and processing fees. The last payment received was $241. That was a cash payment made on June 28, 2024. I measured her compliance for the past three months at $250 per month. She should have paid $750. No payments were made. Her shortfall at the last hearing on July 3rd was $1,320.50, resulting in a total shortfall of $2,070.50. Total arrears on this case as of September 30th, 2024 are $5,317.12. This is the first show cause. There have been no bench warrants, and the respondent was, has one previous contempt finding. Referee Couteau found the respondent in contempt at an adjourned show cause hearing on December 7th, 2023. She was assessed $100 in court costs at that time, and the matter was adjourned before your honor. The action has since been adjourned three times to provide Ms. Wilson with the opportunity to obtain and maintain compliance. She has failed to do so. Friend of the court also provided uh, Ms. Wilson with an affidavit of licensed medical professional in September of 2023 and May of 2024 to submit if she has been determined to be medically unable to work. No medical documentation has ever been submitted and she has continued to be employed um, as a delivery driver doing DoorDash the respondent also had first and second quarter earnings making pharmacy deliveries. The front of the court has attempted to establish income withholding with that source of income, but it did not result in any payments. And the respondent does indicate that that business is now closed. Uh, the respondent also attends college classes during the week. That is all. Ms. Hickman, do you contest or dispute any of the statements made by Ms. Barrington? Um, I don't contest those statements. I do have questions, though. Okay, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Ms. Bar uh, Barrington. Uh, was Ms. Wilson in compliance while she was working? Um, there have been a few months in the last year that she has met her obligation, uh, mainly through ordered lump sum payments that put her over um, her monthly obligation amount. Okay. Um, and do you know if she's, uh, willing to, or I'm sorry, if she's able to, uh, to file a motion in order to attempt to lower her payments, uh, at this time? She can file a motion at any time. Yes. Okay. Do you know if she's aware of that? I believe she is aware. We have discussed that previously. Okay, I have no further questions. Thank you. Okay. Any proofs, Ms. Huffman? Uh, yes, I would call Claire Wilson. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Ms. Wilson, can you hear me okay? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yep, thank you. Uh, are you currently working? Um, it's body due to health issues. Okay, where are you employed? Um, mainly because of DoorDash, I just work when I can. Okay, so you're employed with DoorDash? Yes. Any other employment? No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there was testimony just a few moments ago about you working at a pharmacy. Um, where were you working? It's a uh, West Edge Harding's Pharmacy. And how, how long did you In work there? Uh, just a couple months. 
Um, I only worked maybe three, four days a week for a couple hours. Okay. Um, and why are you no longer employed there? Uh, they closed. Okay. Uh, is there a reason that you um, only work a few hours a week? Um, well, there was also a garnishment that they had put through for, uh, it's called Two Fellas Grow, uh, Grow in Kalamazoo. Um, I got the garnishment like two weeks after I had injured my leg and I'm now going to um, my podiatrist and my surgeon for uh I have four plates in my leg. So, and apparently I did something to that surgery and now I have to go back and get that re-examined and see what's going on with it. Okay, so is that the reason that you only work a few hours a week? Along with other health issues like cluster migraines, aura migraines, a bleeding stomach, um, freshly diagnosed uh, allergies, that kind of a thing. There's several issues. Okay, and you said you have, um, you have to see a doctor regarding your leg or the surgery that had been previously done on your leg. Are those appointments coming up? Yes, I have two appointments next week. Um, after those two appointments, would you be able to get documentation to the front of the court? Um, I should be able to. Um, mainly it's that the doctors don't want to sign the documentation that I got because they're still exploring what the issues are. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I, I do. So what what is the the form? Um, where you, what is the form that the front of the court wants the doctor to sign? Um, does that indicate that you can't work? Um, well, it indicates that I am completely disabled and unable to work. And since they're still exploring issues and possible resolutions, they don't want to fill that out until they are absolutely 100% sure. Okay. Um, are they'll gladly, taking... huh, they'll gladly send over something that says that I'm under their continued monitoring and care. Okay. Uh, do you take any medications that would require you to not, or I guess render you not able to work? Yes. Okay. And would your doctor be able to provide documentation that while you're under the medication that you're on, that you are unable to work? Um, while I'm under the influence of that medicine, yes. Um, are you currently going to school? Yes. Um, where are you going to school? Um, remote through Kalamazoo Valley Community College. Okay, and when you say remote, that's via Zoom or online otherwise? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, the last payment that you made, did you make that payment on your own? I've made all payments on my own. And do you have any amount of money that you could pay uh, right now in order to uh, prevent either prevent the court from um, finding you in contempt or to either purge yourself in, in order to be um, released from jail or not to go to jail? Um, right now, all I've got is like, oh, FAFSA was delayed this year so I've currently got like the book money I had to, they reimbursed me like 220 some dollars which is pretty much what I have right now okay so you have 220 dollars and that's all you have right now pretty much yeah and that's you'd be willing to give that to the court in order for um you to make a a payment or go towards a uh check that's for obligation payment for one month? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I have no further questions. Oh, I guess, I, is there anything else you'd like the court to know? Um, Just that the reason I'm taking these classes and everything is because I'm trying to move into an area that my health issues will have less of an impact on my ability to work. 
not only am I trying to take care of my health issues, I'm also trying to make it so that I will have a steady income soon, hopefully. Thank you. Nothing further, Your Honor. Ms. Wilson, uh, when do you anticipate that you'll complete your uh, college classes? Um, my certification course um, will end in April, at the end of April. And then um, after I set up uh, the advertisement on social media, so May, I would say I should have a steady income May or June. But my certification will happen before then in April. And I still intend to work when I can during that time. Okay. When do you, so you, you're going to go to the doctor. You said you got two appointments next week. So yes, do you, you anticipate at that time that the doctors will be able to sign something saying whether you're disabled or not disabled? He will be able to diagnose. I, I don't see the specialist very often. Um, I have an immunologist that I deal with as well, which is my allergy issues. They think I have a bleeding stomach and they think that my bleeding stomach is what is causing some of my other issues because um, of the overactive acid. And then like it doesn't produce enough vitamins and minerals and it causes all these issues that I'm having. So um, I'm seeing him and he can say that like it is very difficult for me to work and he can assess if he has to take some of the plates out of my leg or not and i have to go under surgery or not okay um i i i don't want to say that he'll be able to say that i'm disabled next next week you know what i'm saying right so, um he will be able to say that there is an issue um because when i got hired into two guys and girls i assumed that it wasn't it was like supposedly a healthy i had heard that it was a healthy place but it was a fry cook and so i twisted my ankle really badly while i worked there because i'm really i try and be very careful about what i do so i didn't have these injuries and then that happened so i couldn't work there anymore okay well just as a curiosity because i uh grew up in the restaurant business how the heck did you twist your ankle as a fry cook <laughs> well i'm the delivery person but they had me in the kitchen area okay um, well. yeah so i assumed like it was like salads because somebody told me it was healthy so i wasn't going to be around greece and have that possibility so uh, and then it was not known to me that obviously the pharmacy was going to close. So they got bought out by Walgreens just like Rite Aid did. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll ask you, Mr. Wilson, is there anything you'd like to say? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Just that a lot of this is more of the same coming from Ms. Wilson. Every step of the way, she she's refused to follow court orders, and she's had excuses every step of the way. I know she's saying she's having all these problems, but when she has Nick for her visitation, she has no problem taking him out to expensive dinners uh, at, at expensive restaurants. She has no problem buying him expensive video games while he's over there. Um, I think that a lot of this boils down to Ms. Wilson's refusal to follow any of this court's orders whatsoever. And she thinks she's punishing me or she thinks she's punishing this court, but it's really Nick who's going without based on, on, on her choices. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Well, Ms. Wilson, I obviously, uh, I, I've heard the uh, testimony in this matter. And uh, I will tell you at this point, uh, it is not compelling. So uh, what I'm going to do is, Ms. Barrington, when is the when do we have the attorney in November? I'm going to adjourn, adjourn this to November 20th at 8.45 a.m. at the time we have the next attorney. Uh, what I'm going to do is say during this period of time, 
you're going to have to get your doctors to either provide medical documentation saying that you cannot work, or if they do not provide that medical documentation at the hearing on November 20th, the court will just simply assume that, in fact, you are capable of being employed. So I'm not going to let this matter languish as it has, where, you know, you're told to file medical uh, documentation. You don't do it. We've adjourned it three times previously. This is your last time. So uh, the court will <clears throat> adjourn it to that uh, November 20, 2024 date. Uh, and the court will further order that in the meantime, that uh, you have basically uh, th through uh, until October 16, 2024, uh, to make a lump sum payment of $200. And uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just adjourn it at that uh, particular point and then be able to proceed on the uh, November 20th. So you're going to have to talk to your doctors when you go to both of them and uh, tell them you need to have that or there is a possibility you'll go to jail if you if you don't have that uh, medical documentation. Okay. okay. Um, question. Um, the six October sixteenth is the two hundred dollars. Yes. Okay, and also the the fifty dollar attorney fee. Miss Barrington told me I was going to owe money to the lawyer. How does that work? Well, you'll have to talk to Miss Barrington how to how to work that out. Okay. Yeah, she'll she'll coordinate that with you. Okay. But again, talk to your doctors, make sure they are able to give you something. If so, that will go a long way to eliminating uh, your being held in contempt. But again, if we don't have anything from the doctors saying that you can't work, then the court has to assume that you can, and uh, the court will then respond accordingly. Okay, we'll do. Okay. Thank you. You're free to go. Mr. Wilson, if you don't want to come back the next time, you don't. I've heard okay. from you and uh, save you from having to right. come back. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.